How to feed 8 billion people using LED lamps. They say out of disasters can come miracles. On March the 11th, 2011, at 2.46pm, a large earthquake struck off Japan's northeastern coast, setting off a large tsunami and wrecking the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. It became known as the Great East Japan Disaster. The region is also a big farming community, meaning there were food shortages as a result. Botanist Shigeru Shimamura and his company Mirai used the disaster as a catalyst to test his theory on the viability of indoor industrial farming. The indoor farm is located in a 25,000 square foot former semiconductor plant that was vacated after the Tohoku Japan earthquake in 2011. The farm factory can yield up to 10,000 heads of lettuce a day thanks to the strict clean room environment. Soil and air temperature, humidity and light are all controlled to exacting specifications. Outdoor farming is fraught with risks. For example, too much sunlight can stunt a crop's yield. But in this farm, the special LEDs developed by General Electric can be controlled to give off the amount of light most conducive to photosynthesis. Meaning, instead of 50% of all crops being discarded, less than 1% gets thrown away. Also, the amount of water used in irrigation is greatly reduced, and the number of harvests can be four times the normal rate. Let me say that once more. 10,000 heads of lettuce every day, rain or shine. Mirai and GE are looking to expand to Hong Kong and Russia in the near term with the goal of expanding to the point where the veggie factories can be used to conserve both land and water worldwide.